right, I'm about to go do my comedy show. The first one is South by Southwest. There's a band playing on the street. So people do it here. Oh, look at the line outside for this uh, show. Uh, I better get my badge out so they think I belong here. This is cool. That's a good sign, though, right? He's, he's here, he's very funny. Please welcome Matt Ruby! A butterfly landed on my arm. And I looked at it closely and on its lower back, it had a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. It's a picture of a teenage girl. Like, this shit is wrapped around. Then I saw a dolphin with a Celtic armband tattoo. That's weird. Dolphins are rarely Irish, so that was strange. I was moved. I was. I admit, I started crying. And I looked at my teardrops. They all had tattoos of little Hispanic inmates on them. Every single one. So. Hey, Matt. Hey, how I love it that I'm from California. My favorite part of the night was actually uh, being backstage. There's two stages and you can go between them. And uh, Andy Kindler was doing his set on the Esther Folly stage. And just in the wings was like. Uh, Janine Garofalo and Doug Benson and Todd Barry and uh, Natasha Leggero and a few other people all just fucking loving it, just dying at Andy Kindler's. He's kind of like, you know, he's comedy for other comics, so. And he's performing like half for the crowd out in the front of the room and half for the comics in the wings. Uh, half? You people don't like computer humor? <laughs> And it was just really cool to see, you know, because he's like, you know, all those guys have been in the game for 20 years or something, right, you know, so it's kind of cool to just see them. They probably don't get to all do a show together like that very often either, so, uh, so that was cool. There's a write-up for one of the bands that I like a lot, which uh, describes it as like an electro-glitch version of Vampire Weekend. Which I think is great, because like, there's an extremely annoying version of something you already find very annoying. So, <laughs> come check out my art project. It's vomit hooked up to a strobe light. You'll love it, but with the glitches. I like the idea that someone is into glitches. What kind of music are you into? I like I like mistakes. I like I like wrong notes. I'm into wrong note music. I'm into record skipping. Wrong note music. I guess that's like jazz, right? <laughs> this is the highlight of my South by Southwest experience eating here at TGI Fridays. I had a burger with fried cheese on it, but I didn't eat the fried cheese. Uh, were I, you scared of that? The frisbee fried cheese? I don't like cheese that looks more like fish or chicken. <laughs> no mayo on the fries. None of that, uh, None of that Euro, shit. Euro. Euro. European. That's disgusting. <laughs> Europe. If you're watching this, don't put uh, your fries in mayonnaise. You might change a whole continent <laughs> with this. <laughs> rock and rollers is that uh, see a lot of people in daylight who you feel like don't usually see the sun in any way whatsoever. You kind of feel like uh, it's like Club Med for vampires around here on 6th Street. <laughs> RachelRay.com sponsored show. So I didn't realize there was much overlap. 
between those demographics. Uh, and I really want to make fun of Rachel Ray, but she was out on the side of the stage, like rocking out the whole time, which is actually pretty cool. So. What, what did you think of the park show here? Uh, the thermals are really good. Um, these assholes won't stop hacking, and I, I hate hacking. Are they hacking ironically, or is this legit? It Probably. started ironically. It started ironically, but now it is just now they have like professionals. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I'm not into ironic fun. That's why I don't fence. <laughs> All right, we're in a car on the way to the Cold Town Theater. That's Pablo. He's driving us. That's Matt Bronger. You know him. Hi. And uh, we're doing two shows in Cold Town tonight, and that's before the South by Southwest shows. This is like, what is it, an improv theater? What is, what do we it's call improv this theater, yeah. But it, uh, Conservatory. Standard. Conservatory. <laughs> Some Very highfalutin. Oh, yeah, they, they call it different stuff all the time. Matt Ruby! I'm sure I'll be the first person ever to talk about this wall, huh? <laughs> that's never happened here before, has it? <laughs> This hole has never been talked about in any way, I'm sure. <laughs> never any references to the hole with the big stick next to it. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, just, I, I don't think glory holes are usually supposed to be accompanied by blood trickling down the wall. <laughs> streaks. I just don't think that's the normal way to advertise how successful your glory hole is. <laughs> Do you see, uh... Huggy Ricky and the Tender Brothers? Oh, so good. They open for Apple Rape. Apple Rape's amazing. It's just a guy with his boner through an apple. He hits it with the mic, but it sounds like the Beatles. Trust me. Give it up for Matt Ruby. I saw an interesting ad on the New York City subway. Uh, all it said in big letters was, What's the deal with Travel Zoo? And that was it. It's like, oh, I don't know, advertisement, but thanks for the homework assignment. <laughs> Like, is there some ad agency out there that just brands things with rhetorical questions? Is that a new thing that I missed out on? Like a tourism ad? Puerto Rico, is it safe? That's Esther's Follies. And I'll show you the other room, Velveeta room. The two clubs are connected where both the shows are. And then in here, there's another stage with Natasha Leggero performing. I would maybe have a lady for practical reasons, like if I was trying to stop doing cocaine. <laughs> Welcome, Matt Ruby. <laughs> Guys, how come when people have really good weed, they always want you to smell it first? So that's not how you do that drug. That's like being like, oh, this cocaine is amazing. You gotta listen to it. <laughs> it does sound like misplaced confidence and shitty techno music. I do hear that in there. Sunday, Austin, I'm done with you. It was fun though. No more rock. Now I get to throw away my bracelet. 